For the average person then, say, if they could stop eating from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and then eat in the window from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., go to sleep at 10 p.m., that's a that would be like a healthy way to diet. That would be the healthiest way. And then also if you added no lunch five days a week, that's taking it up a level. And then what I'm hearing, and tell me if I'm wrong, you would also add a fasting mimicking diet at five times a year? No, 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 not five times. Not five times. Two to three times. I say in the 20 to 40 years of age, I would say two to three times a year, right? So, like, Unless you need them more, right? So if somebody okay. gained a lot of pounds because they were pregnant or, or for whatever reason, then in the clinical trials, we've done uh, once a month okay. until phase B. If you're obese and you have diabetes, you're going to need to put more effort initially. So 12 months consecutively, uh, five days FMD, but this is without the other things, right? So the doctor that I was telling you about, it was implementing all of it, longevity diet, the uh, 12 hours, and the fasting making diet, and only did five in one and a half years, right? Even though he had diabetes and he was obese. So- How much did he lose? He lose 30 pounds. So it, he lost 30 pounds. it almost sounds like to me, and I'm not a scientist or a doctor, but it has the similar effects that Ozempic has but in a natural way, and it balances your insulin levels. Yeah, that's exactly right.